Do you need a deep sleeper this week? Or maybe you're looking for a DFS play? We'll tell you about who to target right now in week one on Fantasy Football Today in 5. I am Adam Azer. I'm with Chris Towers, who crushed it on Thursday night. You'll hear him on Monday night and Thursday nights, or really Tuesday morning and Friday morning for you on Fantasy Football Today in 5. We're going to give you deep sleepers at each position. Chris, if I need a quarterback this week, let's say I drafted Taysom Hill and Trey Lance, who am I starting? (laughs) Well, sounds like you might be talking about my two QB league, uh, <laughs> where I am starting Tyrod Taylor. He's my deep sleeper at quarterback. We think this game is a matchup between two pretty bad defenses, Houston and Jacksonville. And, you know, we just did the FFT mailbag for Saturday, and Jamie said he thinks Brandon Cooks is going to have a big game. Well, Brandon Cooks is going to have a big game. Tyrod Taylor is going to have to have a decent game, and given his rushing ability, you know, I think he's averaged 35 yards uh, per start going back to 2016 is what, what Heath said on Twitter. So I think Tyrod Taylor actually has a decent chance to be like a top 15 fantasy quarterback this week. I will okay. start him in my two QB leagues. All right. How about running back? Yeah, I it's you know, this may change based on Austin Eckler's status, but I'm operating on the assumption at this point that he probably won't play. In which case, I think Joshua Kelly is a fine deep sleeper uh, for this game because I think he could see, you know, maybe not the majority, but I think he'll he'll get more carries than Justin Jackson. Jackson may get a little more passing game work, but, you know, Josh Kelly is, I think, better than what we saw last season. You know, it's not rare that we see rookies struggle and then bounce back in year two. And last season was such a strange season. He was dealing with injuries, no real training camp. So Josh Kelly is someone that I, I do have my eye on as a deep sleeper, both for the season uh, and for this week. Let's get a sleeper, a wide receiver. Uh, How about two? Because there's a a lot of guys I like. My first one would be for season long formats, and that would be Devontae Parker. You know, I know we're really excited about Jalen Waddell. I think, you know, pretty much everyone on the show has him as like a top 40 wide receiver. And Devontae Parker is kind of the forgotten man in Miami, but let's not forget, you know, he looked like a legitimate alpha number one wide receiver back in 2019. He dealt with a lot of injuries in 2020 that were nagging, but he's practiced in full so far uh, in uh, week one. He was dealing with a shoulder injury in training camp, but it looks like he's past that. And the issues last year were more like hamstring issues. So, you know, if he's healthy, I think Devontae Parker could still be the most valuable wide receiver in this offense, at least for week one. I think Will Fuller is going to be the number one when he's active and Jalen Waddle once he gets acclimated, but Parker for week one, don't forget about him. And for a really deep sleeper slash a DFS guy, I'm going to go with Donovan Peoples Jones because I think, you know, it sounds like Odell Beckham will play, but probably won't play his full complement of snaps. The bang, the Browns, excuse me, seem to really, really like Donovan Peoples Jones. They seem to think they really found a good talent there. He's a a big play wide receiver who didn't put up great numbers in college, but you know, was, I think he averaged like 19 or 20 yards per catch. Donovan Peoples Jones had a great training camp. Don't be surprised if he's the number two wide receiver for the Browns next season. And uh, early on this season, he can make an impact. Finally, a tight end. I know you're not going with Dan Arnold, who I keep talking about. Who's your sleeper tight end, your deep sleeper. You know, I, I did a deep sleepers column and Dan Arnold was on there preseason. So I'm with you. I think he could actually be the number three option in that uh, just Panthers this offense. Week. Just great this matchup week. against the Jets. Yeah. Um, so I don't mind him as that choice. And, you know, maybe Tyler Croft won't count as a deep sleeper because you said everybody else on the show has been talking about him all week. But, uh, you know, he's part of the reason why the Jets traded Chris Herndon that, you know, do with that information what you will. Chris Herndon, not exactly a superstar, but it sounds like he's got this the the lead tight end role for the Jets locked up, and I think he could have a decent role in this game with Jameson Crowder not playing. Elijah Moore, we really like him, but it's his first game. You know, Tyler Croft could be a uh, a nice PPR play for Week One. That's Chris Towers. I'm Adam Azer. This is Fantasy Football Today in Five. Talk to you.